Ah, welcome time travelers and welcome new time travelers. As always, if you're new to this channel and enjoy learning about history, one event at a time, and not only from the US, but also from around the world, then don't forget to hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Without further ado, let's get into it. On this day in 1789, a mob advanced on the Bastille in Paris, demanding the arms and ammunitions stored there. But when the guards resisted, the crowd captured the prison, an act that symbolizes the end of the ancient regime. In 1861, American gunfighter Billy the Kid was shot and killed by Sheriff Pat uh, Garnett. Uh, four years later, uh, in 1865, British mountaineer Edward Wimper became the first person to climb the mountain horn. In 1921, and still a controversial decision, Nicole, Nicola, uh, Sacco, and Bartomello Basilini, immigrants, uh, Italian aristocrats, were found guilty of murder of two men in Massachusetts. 1934 brought us a temperature of 160, 116 degrees Fahrenheit, or 47 degrees Celsius, on Orgrade, New Mexico, which sets, set a state record that had just been broken on June 27th. Um, in 1958, President Dwight D. Eisenhower informed Soviet Premier Khrushchev that long-term U.S. credentials were not essential to Soviet U.S. trade expansion. 1958 also brought us Iraqi monarchy that was overthrown by mili a military revolt headed by uh, Brig Abdul Kamar Kamsam, who became a provisional premier. Falsi II, Crown Prince Abdul Alu, and Premier Nir S. Sad were reported slain. Two years later, in 1960, British Ethologist Jane Goodall first arrived at what became a Gumby Stream National Park in Tanzania, where she conducted her groundbreaking research on chimpanzees. That almost sounds like the plot of Tarzan. Anyway, 1966 is when Israeli Air Forces, Air Force jets, raided a water diversion project in Syria in relation to Syrian border incursions. Nineteen sixty nine is when Easy Rider was released in the U.S. theaters, becoming a classic of the counterculture and propelling Jack Nielsen to stardom. Thirteen years after the turn of the century in 2013, the world's largest telegram was sent as India's state-run telecommunications company ended its telegraph service. Three years later in 2016, in France's third major terrorist attack in 18 months, a man drove a truck through a crowd of revelers celebrating Bastille Day in Nice, killing more than 80 people and injuring 
hundreds. And finally, in 2017, Iran mathematician Maryam Muskini, the first woman and first Iranian to be awarded the Field Medal, cited for her outstanding contributions to uh, dynamics and geometry of Romarian uh, surface and her Maduli spaces died at the age of 40. And with that, we return to 2024 and our current history. Until next time.